Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are diving straight into the action because we are doing Of Might and Men, which is um, an all Hercules arena battle and it was pretty nifty. No, it's pretty fun actually. It's um, it's a lot of fun to uh, to play against the same hero every now and then, but this was really a crazy one. Um, I mean, Hercules is pretty tanky. He's pretty much impossible to kill and uh, unless you go like three versus one and even then it's very hard and yeah what we're seeing here is just my teammates are going all out crazy on the enemy team uh, unfortunately yeah the enemy team is impossible to kill too so in my opinion it is best to just go for the minions and as you can see you can chase them all you want but they have that movement speed as well and yeah it's yeah here four versus one and I'm still not going to get killed because that is how strong he is. So um, I'm dashing away here and I'm um, getting back to base and I didn't really have anything yet. So I am going for a tanky build because well, he is a tanky champion or hero, whatever. And we are going for void blade to have a little bit of armor penetration. And as you can see, some people are getting killed and some of us or some of my teammates rather managed to get killed 11 times in this uh, in this game which is pretty impressive seeing that it is so hard to kill him but anyway i'm going mostly for minions i will be assisting of course in the kills wherever i can but the problem is that well the kills are always in the opponent's territory so they are always next to the enemy's base and either my team gets killed or my team gets kills and it's just it's too risky plus you miss so many minions that way and what i wanted to do is to keep uh, getting the minions at least yeah unfortunately i missed that but well here with sprint you're completely impossible to kill because um well that's just the way it is if you have even more movement speed and you have a heal and you have a god knows what else um yeah it's just impossible to kill and that was also what made it fun because uh, if you're almost impossible to kill like this you can just run out and if you uh, pick a smart route then you should be able to survive this yeah that was a mistake from one of my enemies he pushed me further away and that of course is never what you want to do because by pushing someone even further away it's almost impossible to kill uh, even though you well, you almost had to kill, but you didn't. <laughs> because you pushed someone away from your teammates. And um, yeah, well, it's just, it's it's so hard. Anyway, I'm not going for active for now because, well, I'm not in trouble. And I'm not going for the chase. Look at that. Getting the grab and not getting the kill because he is going to get out. Holy crap. Yeah, I decided not to chase. And we're not going to get that kill, by the way. But yeah, well, that's the best I could do. And there's exactly what the problem is. Uh, if you run out at the, the correct moment, which is not that hard to judge, but if you run out at the correct moment, you should never get killed. At least not in the early game. In the late game, we will see that people are so fat that they can practically like five shot me. And then it's hard to get out. But yeah up until that point yeah nothing happening but yeah nobody going for uh, for good items on our team i mean i'm going for uh, penetration with armor which is probably the best build well at least in my opinion uh, i should have some critical strike and some uh, well some percentage penetration as well but i will get that eventually the problem is just that yeah you need to go either for a very tanky build or for penetration builds and well the combination is also good but if you go for something uh, that is low damage and low armor like some of these guys uh, so basically health or something like that that is not going to do it that is not going to make a difference at all anyhow um, enough money to buy my boots I'm not going for my boots though I'm going for the executioner which gives me more penetration. It's not percentage penetration still, but that's not really necessary yet. 
because I do have the void blade and I do have the uh, uh, no, well, just a void blade for now. But with void blade and executioner, I should be able to do pretty nicely. And as you can see, I am winning this fight, but unfortunately, I get stunned by something. I have no clue what has a stun actually. But yeah, that's not going to be good. Unfortunately, I get killed. Yeah, I got drawn into the tower there. And that was my own fault. I shouldn't have chased that far. As I said, if you run out at the correct moment, you're not going to get killed. And yeah, that's what I didn't do. I didn't run out at the right moment. I stayed in there like a freaking moron, like the rest of my team is doing basically. And that's quite all right, because this is on my Smurf account. It is just uh, for the funds. Because you, as you might have uh, noticed, I am, uh, is it anywhere on the screen? No, it's not. Everyone's name is on the screen except mine. Huh, that's pretty nice. But I might have picked or uh, might have shown the score screen or something like that. But I am called Casual Pro Gamer here instead of my normal name. Which is Baron Bacha for those of you who don't know. Um yeah, we're just hammering away at everyone and yeah, I will be getting only one kill by the way this uh, this game, but I will get quite a few minions so i will end up with like the highest farm in the game even though well i haven't really been able to uh, to attack anyone but that's quite all right because as i said the kills are so hard to come by that it is way better to just go for the minions the minions give you way more in the form of um well everything so in the form of points and gold that it is way better to just go for that. And look at this, he is just so damage heavy that I really have to get out and I am going to get out because that is what I do. So yeah, getting out of there and we're going back in because running through the base, if you run from left to right or right to left through the base, so what in one entrance out the other, then um, you have all your health uh, healed up with any champion and that's exactly the way it should be. Uh, the thing is that if you do it with uh, sprint on or with a very high movement speed champion, then you might not have the, f the full health regen, but uh, well, you can see it pretty easily. Unfortunately, I missed my ult. Not, not that my ult does a lot of damage, but would have been nice to hit that at least. And yeah, we're getting stunned and just running out. Running towards my teammates here in order to make them able to uh, to pick that up. But yeah, they pick up one kill for one, so it's not a good trait. <laughs> I'm just going to go for the minions once again. As you can see, the minions are pretty easy to pick up. And all of these points would have been lost. For the enemies, most of these points are lost because they're not going for the minions at all. They're just uh, trying to get something done. Unfortunately, missed that. And yeah, then a full health dude. Yeah, there is no way. There is no way we can kill him. And yeah, we are getting there. I mean, after like two minutes of hammering on him, sure, we can kill him, but... Uh, yeah, it's once again a one for one trade and as you can see I'm picking up all of these minions the enemies finally doing some minions as well But yeah, that's really Nothing compared to the amount of minions that I picked up uh, because I picked up like three minion waves for the four minions they got there and That was really my tactic and I wish people would be less aggressive because then we would have actually been ahead by now because we're 14 points, uh, well, a little bit more now, uh, behind. And with that, with us being behind, it becomes more and more difficult to actually win this. Enemy team picking up some, uh, some minions there. And yeah, here we go. We have to run out and run, 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 run. Nobody's behind me, so it's all good. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could throw it through that pillar. But apparently it uh, deflects from the pillar and just goes nowhere. Well, it bounces off, but it's kind of funny. 
the way that worked. So uh, three kills, I don't know if there's four, I think that's four our team. So we had an okay thing there. And unfortunately, nothing happening here. Even though we have all kinds of low uh, enemies there, it is not going to happen. So yeah, I'm really low, really low. Can I get out? Yes, I can get out. So getting Witch Stone, which reduces, uh, once it completes, of course, it reduces the amount of attacks per second from the enemy. So basically the attack speed. And um, yeah, because of, uh, oh, once again, really low. And this time I do get killed because I didn't juke properly. I knew there was someone behind me. I should have gone to the right. So on the right side of the tower and then uh, dodge behind the tower. There's no way he could follow me there. And yeah, if I dodged like one skill shot, I would have been fine. And I would have been able to do that pretty easily. And yeah, I didn't do that. So I'm going to do it now. See, to the right. And then behind the tower, he's already gone. And I escaped this time. That's what I should have done the first time. And yeah, I just messed it up the first time. But yeah, well, I don't play a lot of uh, Hercules, so I don't really know how he works. But yeah, I should have known that. Anyway, picking up some buffs. Nobody picked up buffs except for the enemy team. And yeah, here you can see it's so hard to do. They, uh, they nerfed the range on his uh, two. That's the throwback. So yeah, I thought they nerfed the throwback itself, but they nerfed the actual range on the skill, which is kind of strange. But I thought that they might want to reduce the amount you throw someone back instead of the, uh, the skill itself, because the skill itself was pretty nice. It didn't really matter. And we are going for, I forgot, I forgot what I go. Oh, I don't have any item slots left. So I need to sell my uh, my one to get penetration, percentage penetration that is, because by now everyone is so tanky, as you can see that it's, uh, we're, we're not uh, catching them anymore. And come on, land this, no, he's going to get out. Holy crap, this guy is also going to get out. So bad. But yeah, that's the way Hercules works. He gets out at very low health, uh, plus he has a nice heal, which uh, made one of my teammates, Mr. Sneakers, say that uh, we needed to go for the beat stick, which might have been good, but I don't think that the heal is the problem. I think that the overall tankiness is the problem. So uh, he said uh, beat stick and penetration, and I was going for Wow, dodged two ultimates there. I didn't even notice that. But um, I was going for uh, more of a, a penetration with uh, armor build. Because the penetration might be good in this game, but the armor is better. And as you can see, we're going to hit this. But unfortunately, it does not bounce back because he bounced on the building itself. And that was just a shame. And yeah, it's, it's just a crazy, crazy match. And yeah, these daily challenges, sometimes they are very fun to play. This one was very fun to play. It's hilarious to see all these throwbacks and, uh, and rocks flying everywhere. But it wasn't a like good game. Some of these are really good games. Um, this was just a mess. It was just a mess. There's nothing else to say about it. It was fun to play though, so yeah, I don't really mind. Um, what can we do? Oh yeah, Deathbringer. I decided to go for some damage afterwards and I might actually finally pick up my kill. No, not my kill. Come on, get someone. Yeah, that's not going to work. And this guy then, this guy uh, is really aggressive towards me. Screw you. <laughs> oh, there you can see it. How much damage it requires for someone to actually die. And yes, we are out. Once again, Deathbringer is bought this time. And um, 
We are going on this. Come on, come on. Kill someone. Yeah, this is just playing crazy. Yeah, but yeah, the difference between me and most of my teammates is that I go for the kills when I have nothing better to do. There is my kill. Finally get the kill. And um, yeah, there you see it. 9 and 11. And someone else went 3 and 11, I believe. Yeah, 3 and 11, the bottom one. So um, yeah, not a very good match, but very fun to play. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG.